This is so sad. I've been watching this for two days. The, the white and goldfish is still alive. Um, the other one has been tending to him for the last two days, trying to keep him upright and afloat. And I've never seen fish do this, but yeah, that's his buddy, and he gets underneath of him and tries to keep him off the bottom. I swear, why can't people be like this? I hate to see that fish dying, but again, this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. He's trying to save his buddy. I feel bad. I feel real bad. But, you know, there's nothing I can do. I don't know how to fix him. I'm looking for my other little fish. I don't see him. But, yeah. Anyhow, good morning, everybody. I just wanted to share a little bit of this with you. Oh, there's my little guy. I didn't think he'd make it. And the big one, the big one's got a growth on his side of some kind. So, I don't know. Uh-oh, he got him back in the bushes. There, look at this. Look at how precious this is. He'll get underneath of him and, and bounce him back up. Trying to help him. See? Look. He's trying to keep him off the bottom. I don't know what to do. I feel bad, but I guess it's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. Alright guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Don't look at me. I've been outside working in my garden and watering all my plants and weeding my flower beds. It's like 10 minutes to 9 in the morning. I'm trying to get it done before the heat overtakes everything, you know. But yeah, that just makes me real sad to watch that. I don't know. He's got him up in the bushes where he's not laying on the bottom now, so I don't know. It's just uh, part of life, I guess, you know. It's part of life. All right, I'm going to get off of here and get me a cup of coffee because the first one got cold because I went out to the RV first and was doing a few things out there and then decided to tend to my flower bed and then uh, my flowers and watered everything and went out front and watered everything out there and oof. So now I'm going to sit down and have a cup of coffee. My knee is on fire. So, all right, everybody have a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day here. I woke up. I woke up. That's all that matters. I'm awake. So um, do something for you guys. It's early. You know, even if you just sit down and have yourself some toast and tea and just some you time, you know, me time. Um, that's what's important. All right, guys, I'll be back later. Thanks for stopping. Push my buttons. I'm going to get busy on that logo for the shirt. Um, I'll make up a couple of them and then we'll take a vote and see which ones you guys like. All right, guys, I love you all. Thanks for stopping. Push buttons. I'll be back later. All right, see y'all. Hey, everybody, how are you? It's uh, Friday evening. I've been out here working. I'll show you what I've been doing. I'm pissed off as a mother. Boy, am I pissed off at these assholes that live here. I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, let me flip this around. Okay, I got some more things planted, some more colors. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go with this border or not in here. And the leaves off her fucking tree won't quit falling in my flower bed. I'm pissed right now, guys. Sorry. So, yeah, I got them all planted. And I put the monkey grasses back there in the corner. I still have the crotons to get out here. But uh, I'll do that. But I want to show you something real exciting over here. In my watermelon patch. I'm sure there's a million, but here's my first watermelon. I got it up on the plastic thing so it doesn't lay on the ground and rot. But there's the first one. But you could see all the blooms. Everywhere blooms, blooms, blooms. So thick. And uh, the bees have been pollinating. So I'm sure there's more down underneath. I was just moving some things around to pull some weeds, and that's how I found that one. So, yeah, looks like we're going to have the long watermelons and not the round. I bought round, I thought round seeds, but that's okay. That's okay. So, let me close this up. We're getting this cleaned up. You see how sparse it is with grass. We're getting it raked. It's going to have grass when I'm done. And I haven't decided. I might put another flower bed back there. But, so it's coming along. It's a lot of work. But yeah, my flower bed, I think it's going to be real pretty and then get this full of grass. I'm going to put a uh, Underneath where I have the bags and the shit that I'm working with right here is a concrete pad because there used to be an old shed that sat back here. So uh, I think I'm going to put a real pretty uh, bird bath right there. And uh, But yeah, 
I'll be happy when the ground cover that I've put in there gets going and but I'll be patient let's go check the tomatoes this is so hard because I was sick for so many years and these guys just came out here and abused this part of the property they throw shit out here and you know metal rods in the grass and so you see whew, I'm out of breath and I'll tell you why in a minute but everything here is doing really well okay so you see that gate Hubby says I'm not allowed to open and close that gate right there. So you see that big gate right here, right? That goes into the messy part of the yard. And then you see that door right there that I come and go out of all the time, right? Well, some dumbass locked that fucking door and that gate, and I cannot get that gate open. I banged and I banged and I banged back here. Of course, you know, they're not going to pay attention. So I climbed that gate. Yes, I did. I sure did. That garage door, and I <laughs> I gave my husband every kind of where, what, motherfucking for. Yeah, lock me out of my house. I'm pissed. My face is a little red. I guess you could tell I'm pissed. So now I have these two left to put out there. And this one, I don't know. I might put that in a pot and keep it in here. Because it was all wilty this morning. It wanted water, but I gave it water. I guess that's why they call them in paper. So, anyhow, let's check on the pool. I put chemicals in the pool and brushed it all. That looks looks good. Tomorrow I'll put the clarifier in. And I watered all my other plants. Let's go see how turtle heads are doing. I don't know if my cats are out here. Barry's getting more independent. And, uh, I don't see him. And, uh, huh. There's Bear. Come on, Bear Bear. Come on, mister. Where's Downey? Huh? I put food out there. Come on in, buddy. Come on. Come on, Angel. Come on. Come on. Bear, I gotta close the door. Come on, man. Bear, come on. Well, he don't want to. He wants to stay out. That's fine with me. He hangs out underneath the RV. So we're good. He doesn't ever go anywhere if I want him. I just whistle and he comes running. Turtle heads are where? Must be under the... Ha! Oh, here comes one. I see a cat's been in the plant again. Um, turtle head! What are you doing, buddy? Come on. It's okay. Where's pissy turtle head? Oh, I see you over there under them rocks sticking your head out. I see you right there. Hey, Turtle Head. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Are you hungry? Let me get them some food. Maybe they're hungry. Get them some worms and some dried shrimps. And we'll feed them. We'll start with the worms. Ninny loves these worms. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Let me get you some other stuff. You want to come and visit or are you going to eat? No, he's going to eat. That's good. Let's get some of this other food out while we're right here. And then, when I'm done out here, I'm going to go take a damn shower and make a cup of coffee and put my feet up. I think I made a cup of coffee and left it sit. It's probably cold by now with everything I've done. Here you go, buddy. There's some shrimp pellets. Okay. Oh, they're both out eating now. Ah, that's what they wanted. They're hungry. It's a hungries. Are you guys hungries? Huh? Yeah, so there they are. Both of them out eating. Okay. I think my work is done for the day. Hubby's had his dinner. I went shopping and got cat food. Picked up another 30 pounds. These cats can eat. But that's okay. Because I feed them. I feed Downey, you know, the, the feral. And uh, so we're good. I'm tired. All right, I'm going to go in and uh, get something to drink. And then, I don't know, take a shower. So I can get up in the morning and uh, my grandson said he'll rake. So that'll be good. I taught him a couple hours so we could have that all raked up real good. And then I could get it ready to start seeding it and stuff. So, all right, I'm going to get off of here before I scare everybody to death the way I look. And, uh, 
I might be back later. I don't know. I might pass out in my chair once I take a shower. All right, y'all, if I don't come back, have a beautiful night. Do something for you. It's still not too late. Um, I'm doing things for me, even though I know it seems like I do a lot of work around here. But I like nice things, and I want a nice backyard over there and, um, you know, a place for a fire pit and things like that, you know, where John and his girl can go sit in the evening and, you know, and whatever. So, all right, guys, I'm out here. Love y'all. Thanks for pushing my buttons. <laughs> Boy, I look wonderful, don't I? woo -hoo! And um, if not tonight, I'll be back in the morning with coffee. All right, love you all, guys. Thanks. See you in a bit.